it's really important to understand that people that have diabetes are four to five times more likely to develop cardiovascular disease than those that don't. And so finding ways to help these people and treat their disorders is extremely important. I'm Kerry Rye, I'm the Head of Research in the School of Medical Sciences in the Faculty of Medicine at University of New South Wales. I started out really being a biophysical chemist and I wanted to understand a little more about these particles that I've heard of called lipoproteins and these are the particles that carry cholesterol in blood. And so I spent a lot of years um, understanding how they're, how they're made, how they're structured, how they convert from one to another and ended up discovering that what I was doing in cardiovascular disease was, was very relevant to what happens um, in people with diabetes. And so it's, and now I sit firmly in both areas. I really like being able to sit in my office and predict what's going to happen when someone in my group does an experiment. More often than not, I'm wrong. And that's what really excites me because if I'm wrong, it means I really don't know what's going on and it, it leads to the next set of experiments. And it's that continual cycle that I find really, really interesting. It gets me out of bed in the morning. And the next, the next aspect of that that's really important to me is being able to turn all these, um, what seem to be disconnected bits of information into a story and being able to pitch a good story is really important if you're going to be doing science. I've been really, really lucky in the last couple of years with uh, the outcomes of the projects I've been working on, the funding that I've had and getting this award has made it a huge difference as well. The Cardiovascular Research Network, um, I've been a part of it for a number of years. It really forms a focus for all career stages of cardiovascular researchers in this state and, and in other states as well. And it's so important to have this, to be able to build networks um, for each individual. It's especially important for early career investigators because they get a chance to talk and interact with more senior investigators as well as their peers. And it's just a very good community spirit that I think it's very hard to find elsewhere.